everyone, this is Huey Plays, and welcome to the first episode of Might and Magic 6, the Ma Mandate of Heaven playthrough. This game is 25 years old, I am 21 years old, which is just crazy to just even fathom. Ahem. I first started playing this game when I was 7, I saw my dad playing it. Uh, in Australia, the game is rated R18. Um, he let me play it anyway. <laughs> it's pretty much just violence, and even that's just nothing really. Um, so I start playing it, and the rest is history, as they say. That pretty much kickstarted my um, my PC uh, reign of playing games, um, and I finished it numerous times. I've also uh, played and finished uh, my Magic 7 and 8 which are very good and if I actually go through with this playthrough, which knowing me is up in the air, I've had more comebacks than Johnny Farnham at this point, so um, yeah I'd like to uh, get stuck into 7 and 8. Um, 9 as well. Um, it's it's the most controversial one in the series, but um, you know, I'll give it a crack. I've never finished it, but it's pretty good, it's alright. But the topic at hand is Minor Magic 6. Um, I thought I'd give it a crack. Um, I've always wanted to delve into it, um, make videos on it, and uh, see where we go. So, what we'll do is create a party. So, go to New Year. Having cheated death during the night of shooting stars, you find we'll let this play. Far from your village of Sweetwater, as old Falagar's magic could take you. Three years have passed while Falagar imparted what knowledge he could to train you in your chosen professions. But the time came at last when he could teach you no more, and you have ventured into the world to seek your fame and fortune. Now. A world away from your lost home, you have stumbled across evidence of a terrible conspiracy involving a new religious cult. Five letters from King Roland to his wife Catherine, and a letter from the King of the Devils to a wicked traitor named Sulman, have turned up in an abandoned goblin camp. Your fate seems inextricably bound to these letters and that awful night and your role in the events to come may be larger than anyone could imagine. The tools you have are but a small sum of gold, your wits, and a lot of potential. The roads ahead are infinite, and all the choices are yours to make. So choose wisely. Good luck. So yeah, that's a little intro that they give you at the start. Um, it's you Pretty stock standard stuff, so you got your play crazy conspiracists. Uh, they're known as the Temple of Bar. Yes, as in bar as in shape. Um, <laughs> as we'll as we get into it, you'll see what they're about, and they transcend more than just might and magic six. I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, what we'll do is we'll create a party here. Um, there's so many options to choose from, although in Mon Magic 6 there's only 6 classes, um, in 7 there's at least 9, and 8, I think the same if not more, um, but there's still plenty of options with 6, um, so we'll get stuck into it. Um, God, I've created that many parties over the years, I might try something different and see how we go to be honest. So. <clears throat> This is the default party they give you, so Paladin, Archer, Cleric, and Sorcerer. Paladin's like your spiritual um, your spiritual fighter, so if you right click on the class, it pretty much gives you description, so yeah, cross between Knight and Cleric, so you know, they can heal, they can fight, um, they can't learn light and dark magic which are very important uh, trees of magic. It's more so later in the game. Um, but won't be using him for that anyway. Um, 
I'll probably go with the Knight, to be honest. Um, I've never been a huge fan of the Paladin. Prefer the Knight. Get in there, slash him up, get it done. <laughs> um, so we'll do that. Um, might keep the Archer. Can't go wrong with an Archer. Um, we right click. They're a hybrid of the Knight and Sorcerer classes. So they can use the elemental classes, so like your air, water, earth, fire, I think I missed that. Um, and obviously, they blade masters at using the bow, which is what we want. It is imperative that you learn the bow ASAP in any minor magic game. You're well on your way to beating the game and setting yourself up if you learn the bow. I've learned that the hard way. Trust me, it works. <laughs> so we'll go with that. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep the archer. Um, uh, cleric and sorcerer. Uh, so I don't know whether to mix it up a bit. Or keep the cleric and the sorcerer. So pretty much your clerics, they're like your healing uh, class, so... Mediocre fathers, but can concentrate on healing defensive spells, so... Um, and they can learn light and dark, same as a sorcerer and I believe a druid. A druid is a mix of both cleric and sorcerer, but they can't uh, be as good in either profession. So they're kind of like the balance between them, so they're not full-on adept at being a sorcerer, neither being a cleric. Um, but, alright, you know what? I'm going to make my sorcerer a druid. Yeah, alright. So we're going to go with, we're going to rock with the knight, archer, cleric, and druid class. Um, the names, um... If anyone actually watches this series, which that's to be determined, um, hello to you if you are, welcome, I appreciate you. Um, ideally if I had like a bit of a following or something I'd um, get you guys to like write in the comments what names you want to be. Um, so we'll just come up with some names, uh, first one that comes to mind, uh, Pablo, yep, Pablo the Knight. <laughs> Uh, this will be interesting. All right, for an archer. Oh yeah, we can change. Um, yeah, I forgot. We can change portraits. I'm the one you want. You and have their own unique voices and stuff. So, which one? I reckon he looks like a knight. Let's go for the rest. All right, we'll go with him. Pablo the knight. Oh, he doesn't really look like Pablo, does he? We'll stick with Pablo. Breaking stereotypes here, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, Alexis, not Alexis, Texas. Um, hmm. I'm the he looks like an archer. Hey, come on, choose me. Choose me. Hey, you gotta pick me. I'm ready. It's me you want. Choose, choose, and take me with you. Uh, choose, choose me. We'll go with her. Um, what does she look like? She looks like a um. Got another hard to think on the spot of a name. Um. Go, Charlotte. I don't know, just come to mind. We'll rock with it. Uh, Cleric. Me or suffer. He looks spiritual with his headband there and his uh, crystal in the middle there. We'll go with him. Uh, Johnny. Good old Johnny Sins. If you know, you know. If you don't know, look him up. Uh, yeah, right, so we got Johnny the Cleric. Nah, that's a shit name. We'll, we'll come to something else. Uh, he looks like... 
Be a hippie from the 70s. What would be a name? Oh, Pedro. So we've got Pablo, Charlotte, and Pedro. And then for the Druids, for equality's sake, we'll go with a female. Who looks like the Druid type? You know, we'll go with her. She's also got like headband things. I guess that's Druidish. Ah. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep going and see what name comes up. Jessica, Carol, Leah. Alright, uh, Stephanie. Alright, so we got Pablo the Knight, we got Charlotte the Archer, we got Pedro the Cleric, and we've got Stephanie the Druid. That is not how I imagined uh, this video going so far with those names, but that's the beauty of making videos. You just never know what's gonna happen. Alright, so get into the main and veg of, the, of this. Um, so with the knight, if you notice uh, in the skills here, uh, though skills that have 14, you can use uh, the 50 points here to uh, go into what skills you want. So if I press plus here, we've got, it must be the way of the games because uh, normally if you press the plus, it goes up by two, but in this one, it's the one. So that's okay. Um, disregard what I'm saying. I'll uh, explain that in Modern Magic 7 or 8, because that's where it applies. So, oh, we'll keep going. So, knights can't use magic, so intellect and personality are useless. And if they're useless, we want to take points away from them. And we're going to take two off, so we'll do that for both. Look at that, we've got 54. Um, luck doesn't really do too much, to be honest. Like it says, it resists magical attacks and avoid taking as much damage from traps. But that's where Disarm uh, Trap comes in with. We'll take luck away as well. It's not essential. Archer. Um, I don't think... It's too important to have intellect for them. Twelve is still a fair bit for an archer. Personality they don't use, so we'll take that away. Accuracy is what they want, being an archer. Um, and we'll boost up the might as well. Uh, the cleric doesn't use intellect. So personality is like spirit, mind, and body magic. So clerics, druids, um, and paladins. Whereas uh, intellect is your elemental, so fire, earth, air, water, uh, which are your archers, druids, and your sorcerers. Um, so we'll keep going here. Uh, reduce the luck, we'll increase the speed once we come up. The druids use both, so we'll keep them as is and we'll reduce the luck. I don't want to reduce the luck to 5, that's too low. For magic it doesn't matter. Um, but for luck we'll just keep it at 7. So we went from 50 to 66. That is what we're talking about. Alright. So what you want to do is prioritise bumping up the might at least to 11. In my opinion. Um, you want to deal damage. You don't want to be stuck on 7 and only do like 1 damage. Then you'll be stuck for a while. Increase speed. So that increases your armor. And the rate. So your recovery rate from attacks. Which is important too. So bump that up. Accuracy will bump up for Stephanie. Look at that. We've bumped up everything. And we've only used essentially two points from the 50. So now we can get into it. So might will increase to 20. Nice round number. Uh, what else? Personality 20. Get plenty of magic into the healing. Actually, make it 24. We can adjust if needed. Accuracy will go 20. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you bump it into, I guess. We go 20 and 16. Um, endurance is important, so that's your hit points, which is essential 
Uh, the knights are essentially your tanks, so bump that up. We'll bump up druid and cleric as well, because they the magic classes typically have less hit points, so we'll bump them up. 4H. Uh, increase that to 12. Um, I might increase accuracy. Yeah. I might do that. Uh, we'll do it for the lower classes. Because they're at the detriment. Um, we'll do speed and we'll do one more. As much as I hate odd numbers, then Mario said these going to be triggered here. <laughs> we'll do it. Um, yeah, I reckon that's looking good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, personality 24, Cleric, Pedro, he's going to carry us. He's going to carry the team, he's going to heal us. Uh, Stephanie the Druid is going to assist as well. Um, so what we'll do now is assign the skills down here. Um, we can choose two to begin with. So with the knight, what have we got? Oh yeah, earlier I was talking about bow. No matter what, pick the bow. So we've got sword, leather, bow. Uh, we're going to learn chain. But it won't really come up much to begin with. We'll do a shield. Get as much armor as we can. So, yeah, bodybuilding adds hit points. They'll come in handy later on. It's not essential straight away. Uh, dagger is useless for the knight. Axe is more your archer. Spear. You can sub substitute that with sword for the knight. I haven't really been a big spear fan, to be honest. I'll just stick with the sword. Um, but I might mix it up. We'll see. Disarm trap is essential, and I reckon I'm going to give it to the archer. So, we'll go to Disarm Trap. Or oh, Identify Item is very good. So, throughout the game we'll come across heaps of items that we probably won't be able to identify because they either have magical attributes, abilities, or we're just not good enough to identify them. Depends on the value of the item as well. We'll get into that too. Um, what else for the Archer? So we've got Bow, Air Magic, so we don't have a weapon, like a melee weapon. And I don't have armor either. So... You can like interchange, so it's not like you have to choose one and, you know, it's be all and all. Um... You can always learn armor. We'll do axe. We'll stick with that. Alright, Pedro, you're up, mate. Uh, so he's got mace, which are blunt weapons. Yeah, blunt trauma weapons. Uh, pretty good. Body magic, obviously. Um, I might give him identify on. Oh, I can't. See, certain uh, classes can become expert and master in different skills, so. I I'm, can't remember if clerics can become master in identify item. So ideally I want to give the skill to someone who can be master without doing too much hassle. Um, I'll stick with it. Alright, so we've got mace, body magic, spirit of mind is not essential early on, but they will be important. We can always learn that. Um, Shield or whatever I'm thinking here. Uh, meditation is like the bodybuilding, but for spell points, so gives you a lot more each time. So yeah, it says here four for sorcerers. Um, each time you put a skill point in it. I think it's the same for clerics as well. Uh, it's not as important, especially because I got 24 in personality, so that will bump my points up anyway. Um. Repair item will be important too, because uh, items can be broken, they will be broken, put the house on it. Uh, as we come across harder enemies and stuff, they can uh, break your armor, um, but you can counteract that, um, but that's later down the line. Um, might go leather armor, 
I'm not going to shield actually. Because I'm pretty sure clerics can learn chain. I don't want to learn leather and then learn chain. Whereas shield's just the one. Um, you can use any shield you want. Um, so you don't have to change. Whereas leather and chain, they're two separate skills. So we'll go shields. Uh, Stephanie the Druids. What about you? She's got staff and earth magic. Earth doesn't really do too much for me, to be honest. Um, it's good for like armor based uh, spells, but that's about it. Um, I might do body magic as well, because the more healers we have, the better. They're very important. Um, it's got no armor. Definitely give it weather. I know druids can't learn chain, so I'm happy learning leather. Alright, so just to go over everything, just to double check, so we've got Pablo the Knight, uh, he's learned the bow and shield, Charlotte the Archer, who has learned axe and tazam trap, which is a very important skill, come in handy. Uh, we've got good old Pedro the Cleric, he's learned the shield and identify item. And we got, last but not least, Stephanie the Druid, who has learned leather and body magic. And I think I am happy with that. Alright, so, we'll click the thumbs up button. And this is New Sorpagal. This is the starting town. Um, yeah, so, alright, what we'll do is... Go to each character and see what stats they got, what items we've got. We got given at the start, so because I bumped up the endurance a bit for Pablo, his hit points are 42, which is pretty good to start off with. And the club is like the shitty weapon that they give you at the start. Everyone's got him pretty sure, and his damage is already 4 to 6, so that's a good sign. Alright, so we'll give him the sword. So this is your inventory space, um, pretty much just where all your items go, um, I like to store stuff like in the corner here, um, to sell, and one of these people will be the seller essentially. Um, you can learn the skill called merchant, and I like to bump that up as soon as I can to make as much money, and get more items, level up quicker, you get the drift. Um, we'll sell that, um, definitely give him the bow, the shield, and the armor. Aha, uh -huh. so we got something cool. See the pattern of the scroll there? That's a quest scroll. Um, so you can just pick it up, left click on the person, and, uh, as part of that intro, uh, video that played. This is one of the letters they were talking about, so it's pretty much to do with the devils and um, you know, conspiring with um, kings and queens. Essentially, you can pause the video if you want to read it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be a reader and read everything. Be here forever, um, and I'll lose my voice, which is not ideal. Um, so essentially, we'll go through that and um, do the quest which is very easy and you should do it straight away so I'll show you why in a minute um, alright so if you go back here his armor class is 9 which is very, very good to start off with his damage is 6 to 12 and he can shoot 4 to 8 damage so Pablo is going to be our lord and saviour he's going to be our tank and he is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, we'll go to Charlotte. So, oh, we got electrical resistance plus three. Uh, we'll give it away, why not? Uh, we've got the axe. So, you should start off with the club as well. So, put that there. Uh, obviously, being an archer, she's get she's got a bow. Give it to her. So, the, I think it was air magic. Yeah, so air magic, we can learn static charge, it's like a basic damage spell, um, might as well learn it. Uh, another thing you can do as well is um, make potions, so we need are bottles and 
um, herbs and reagents. So, yellow from memory. God, it's been a while. Um, pretty sure cures weakness. Energy. Yeah, okay, it's different than my magic six. Um, adds 10 to primary stats temporarily. It's not really that important. But I guess if you're a bit stuck, like in a dungeon or whatever, and you need that little bit of a boost, that can come in handy. Um, in my party, so I like to have one person be like the alchemist, uh, keep all the potions. Um, we'll make it to cleric. Pedro, you're the potion master, mate, so put that there. Uh, we'll sell that, give it back to him. Go back here, we'll give him the mace, sell the club. Uh, I don't think I can. We'll stack it up a bit. Um, go back to Pedro, we'll give him a shield. First aid, yes, yes. Speaking of first aid, um, red herbs will give you hit points. So this one restores 10. So if I were to damage myself, I've got full health at the moment. Um, but if I were to hurt myself, I'll just right click over myself and fixes you up. So that will come in handy for sure. I'll uh, we'll put it there. Oh yeah, Charlotte stats. Um, she's got 25 hit points, 5 spell points, which for an archer is pretty stock standard. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Um, that's, that's a bit low. Um, Especially to start off with. Um, she won't be doing too much. He's more obviously the arch and do some damage. 3 to 7, which is very good. And 4 to 8 with the bow. And because I bumped up the accuracy, she has 4 um, attack rating for the bow as well as the axe. Whereas Pablo has 0 for both. 11, I think, is like the default number, so. Starts off at zero. So it is awesome that Charlotte has plus four in both. Uh, Pedro has plus one, because it's 13. And one to seven damage, which it's okay. It's not the best, but we'll make do. And we'll go to Stephanie the Druid now. Um, we'll sell that. Give you a staff, which is two-handed. Give you a leather. Magic arrow is a uh, yeah earth magic um, does like one to two damage or something. Yes. And first aid, yes, please. Yes. Uh, we'll check her stats. So uh, we'll check. Go back, Pedro. Look at that. They got the exact same. That's fantastic. <laughs> they legit got like got the same and everything. Look, hit points, spell points, armor class, attack rating, and damage are the exact same. That is what you want. Alright, so... That's the gist of it. Um, to begin with. Um, we'll go through all this later on. Um, get stuck into the quest and stuff, but... This has been the first episode, guys. Um, if you've made it this far, comment down below. I truly appreciate you. Um, this is the first episode of Huey Plays Mon Magic 6, The Mandate of Heaven. Hope you have a good one. Thanks for coming, and I'll catch you later. Cheers.